Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. And today we are going to be talking about brain dead. And no, I'm not just talking about, you know, my mental state, even though things haven't been the best, you know, COVID, things are crazy, but it's a new year, new me. Let's move on from that subject. But we are taking a look at the brand Brain Dead. They make really cool like skate streetwear inspired pieces. They had a huge year with collaborations with uh, the North Face, Converse, things like that. And I just love this vibe. Like I'm from the punk skateboarding community. It has really cool like old school toy machine vibes to their artwork and design, stuff like that. So this is right up my alley and I'm so excited to check it out. So let's get into it. But first, I've looked into it and a very, very small percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. It's completely free. Just press that button and you will not regret it. Thank you so much. All right, there we have it. So that is the front graphic. They're actually embroidered in and there's even cooler stuff on the back. There is so much to go over with this piece, but we've got to start as we do with the retail tag that came with this piece right there. Let's get into there. So this tag, as you can see, actually came from Essence, which leads me to believe that most brain dead pieces don't actually have retail tags that come with them. That's often the case with these kind of more, you know, uh, low budget, lower price point streetwear type brands like, you know, Supreme stuff usually doesn't have tags, things like that. So Essence put one on, but it's going to have a lot of good information on there anyway. So let's get a look at that sticker on the back. So obviously Essence, that's the shop it came from. If you're not familiar, they're great. They have so much good stuff. I highly encourage you to check them out. We've got the size up here. So this is a size small. We've got the model. So brain dead gooey long sleeve T. Then we get the model number, maybe the most important part, right? The BDST, I'm guessing BD for brain dead, things like that. Black. Oh, you know what? And another model number down there. So one of these two is probably the main model number for this piece. You could probably Google those and see what comes up. But if something different comes up, a different design from the one you've got, that is always a pretty bad sign. Now, as for things that Branded did actually put there rather than the retailer, let's take a look at the brand tag that's at the back of the neck there. So this guy is very small compared to most brand tags. You can see it's just a simple embroidered loop tag that comes down from the back of the neck there and embroidered in there in white is the brain dead logo so you get this kind of head and profile going around these little kind of zigzags here and then the brain dead font with these two little kind of parentheses at the end you can see that the head going around and the d in dead at the beginning there are actually connected so take a look for little things like that the back of that is blank and if we take a look at the inside of that there it is just the inverse colors You've got another smaller embroidered loop tag under that for the size, in this case an S for small, and take a look at how big and bold that S is, much bigger than what most brands would do. And on the back of that, we've got a little kind of like embroidered artwork in there as well, that's cool. And both of these have no visible stitches because they are sewn right into this little piece at the back of the neck, that seam there. Now let's take a look at the care tags that are inside the shirt. So if we look down here to the bottom, these are way lower than most brands would put them. They're right, sewn right into the hem there at the bottom. So even if you're wearing it, this could come undone and it could hang right out and it would be totally visible. So that is where it should be. And this is a single loop tag, pretty kind of heavyweight, like glossy black plastic tag. And printed in there, once again, is the Brain Dead logo. Again, you've still got that like line connecting the head and the D, things like that. And on the back of that, we've got all the other information. So first we get our fabrication, which in this case, of course, being a t-shirt is 100% cotton and the washing instructions in English. And this is all, all caps center justified. Then you get three washing symbols there made in Honduras, all caps and in memory of Joseph Carey Merrick. I do not know who that is, but it's kind of nice to put those on the tags, little things like that for your friends, a little tribute, you know, maybe someone you lost. So I appreciate that. And these are all sewn, as we said, really, really cleanly right into the hem there. And they're just kind of like cut off right there. And again, that's a really clean cut. Now it's time to take a look at all the unique elements of this shirt, starting of course with that embroidery, the brand embroidery right at the chest there. So as you can see, these are like really precise kind of squiggles there in green. It kind of looks like weird like tendrils, tentacles, like um, 
barnacled, I don't know, some weird growth thing. It's very kind of gross, but cool. And interestingly, I'm pretty sure each of these letters was done separately. There don't appear to be any stitches connecting each letter, especially like over here. There's clearly a lot of space. So if you see little like connecting lines going between and things like that, not a good sign. And if we look to the inside of the shirt, we can see that may actually be like an applique or something because there are no embroidery stitches like coming out in the inside of the shirt that are visible in any way. So if you see like stitches coming through from the back, any messy stuff showing through, it's actually a bad sign. And then on the back of the shirt, we get this massive graphic that takes up like the entirety of the back. And this is just printed on there, not embroidered or not an applique like it is on the front. It's just, you know, your normal kind of screen printing. The print itself definitely feel it's a bit kind of like tacky and rubbery. It's not, it has a very different texture to the body of the shirt itself. And you can see a little kind of like messiness to the print, a little like cracking and a bit of the texture of the shirt coming through. And I'm guessing that is due to the fact that this is supposed to be like a pre-worn type of look for this t-shirt. Like if, as you can see on this, it's kind of like an off black for the texture of it. It's definitely kind of faded, pre-washed, things like that. That's definitely part of the vibe of the shirt. And going along with that, that means that things like these stitches here are intentionally, I would say, in a slightly different color from the rest of the shirt. And there is actually a bit of messiness to them. And I think that's all just kind of the part of the effect of this kind of vintage style of shirt here. The neck, as you can see, is nice and ribbed there, as are the cuffs here. And these are stitched in actually quite tight. Like, as you can see, it kind of scrunches up at the wrist there. So it gives it a kind of like tapered jogger effect as a sleeve though. So now that we've checked all of that out, let's try this piece on to see how it feels and see how it fits. So first, let's talk about the feel of this piece, because as I mentioned, it is a very much a pre-worn, pre-washed, vintage type of feel that they're going for. And normally, I actually don't really love that because I find it a bit overly stiff for a t-shirt. I like my t-shirts to be super soft and comfortable. But the fabric that they use is quite thin, so it doesn't have the normal stiffness that this style of shirt would normally have in my experience. So it actually works out really well for me, and I'm happy with the feel of it. The fit, on the other hand, is pretty interesting. So I consider myself a true to size small, so I got a size small. And in the body, I would say that is very much how it fits. It fits true to size. The sleeves are a bit on the shorter side, but for me, they fall just about perfectly with that taper. I'm actually impressed with just how perfectly they fall on the wrist. So for me, they're exactly the right length, but right around the shoulders, it maybe is even a bit smaller than true to size. So I wouldn't necessarily consider um, sizing up unless you do want a slightly oversized fit, in which case you might want to consider it. So that is how you tell the difference between real and fake brain dead clothing. Take a look at the other video on screen here, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.